prophet can change the message of God. When God say yes, a prophet can say, sir, please, no. Today we are bringing to the light of God's word what was said by prophet Shukwe Meka Honemere alias Odumeje, the founder and the president of Mountain of Holy Ghost Intervention and Deliverance Ministry. He said that he has power to change the word of God. That if God says yes, he has the power to say no, sir. I am not here to judge him, but to examine what he has said using the Holy Scripture to see if what he has said is of God or not. The Bible tells us in 1 John chapter 4, verse 1, Beloved, believe not every spirit, but try the spirits whether they are of God, because many prophets are gone out into the world. How can a prophet say, if God says yes, he has the power to say no? Lamentation chapter 3 verse 37 says, Who is he that saith, and he cometh to pass, when the Lord commanded it not? That means, if God says yes, nobody can say no. If God says no, nobody can say yes. A lot of people have been led astray, and we are calling to repentance. Everyone that is out there following prophets blindly, we are calling you to repentance. That you should repent and open your eyes because there are many people who say they are of God and they are never of God. I am not here to accuse anybody, but I am here to say this is what God says. And as a servant in the vineyard of God, it is my responsibility to say this is what the Bible says. Now, I want you to watch the video yourself. So many competitions and battles is this year. But listen to me, with a prophet, you can overcome it. Yeah. The Bible says, true by your prophet, I save the whole nation. True by your prophet, I can destroy the whole nation. He said, obey the word of my prophet, you shall do what? That is means a prophet can change an ugly situation. A prophet can change the message of God. When God say yes, a prophet can say, sir, please, no. He say, obey the word of the prophet, you shall prosper. So, God has already put his position to the prophet. So prophet is not by confession. Prophet is by what you practicalize. And that is why I speak to you as an oracle. As an ambassador of the Most High. As an oracle tree planted by the Almighty Jesus. That nobody can challenge. Today, anywhere they have put you down, I raise you up. When I saw this video, I was so shocked. I said, how could someone who says he's a man of God, a prophet of God for that matter, proclaim that he has power to change the message of God? A prophet is a messenger. The message comes from the giver of the message. God is the giver of the message. So if God gives a message to a messenger, does the messenger has right to change the message? But he is saying that a messenger has the right to change the message of God. This is blasphemy. This is the abuse of the office of a prophet and a misrepresentation of ministry as far as Christianity is concerned. He said, so God has already put his position to the prophet. Can God give his position to a prophet and permit the prophet to change his word? The answer is capital no. Now, I want us to examine the Bible. Psalm 138 verse 2 says, I will worship toward thy holy temple and praise thy name 
for thy loving kindness and for thy truth. For thou hast magnified thy word above all thy name. This means that God has lifted his name above every other thing. God does not play with his word. God is his word. The word of God is God himself. Remember that in the beginning was the word and the word was with God and the word was God. Nobody can change the message of God. Rather, all prophets are just spokesmen. People who speak the mind of God to the people. This man is saying that God has put him in the position of God and that he has power to change the message of God, even if it is against the will of God. This is blasphemy against God Almighty. Let us look at who is a prophet. Prophet is from the Hebrew word Nabi, which means spokesman. A prophet. Nabi is from the root word Nabo, which means to prophesy under the influence of a divine spirit. Underline this. Under the influence of a divine spirit. So a prophet is not just out there to speak for himself, but as a messenger, he gets messages from God and he releases this message to people exactly the way he receives the message. He's never to add to the word of God. He's never to remove from the word of God. This is what the Bible says in Revelation chapter 22 verse 19. And if any man shall take away from the words of the book of this prophecy, God shall take away his part of the book of life and out of the holy city and from the things which are written. We are not permitted to add to the word of God and we are never permitted to remove from the word of God nor from the message of God. A prophet is one who declares the mind of God to the people. A prophet could be moved to speak without premeditation because he is speaking under the influence of the Holy Spirit. Second Peter chapter 1 verse 21 says, For the prophecy came not in old time by the will of men, but holy men of God spake as they were moved by the Holy Ghost. Numbers 24 verse 13 says, If Balak would give me his house full of silver and gold, I cannot go beyond the commandments of the Lord to do either good or bad of mine own mind. But what the Lord said, that will I speak. What about Jesus Christ? Did Jesus Christ spoke the will of God or he spoke messages from his own self? Or did Jesus Christ ever altered the message of God? John chapter 12 verse 49, Jesus Christ said, For I have not spoken of myself, but the Father which sent me he gave me a commandment, what I should say and what I should speak. Even Jesus Christ did not speak his own mind. He spoke the message of God exactly the way God gave the message to him. Though Jesus Christ is God, when he put on human flesh, he obeyed the will of the Father. He never altered God's will. In the face of death, Jesus Christ submitted to the will of God. How can someone who says he's a prophet says he has the power to change the message of God? As I've said before, I am not here to judge anybody but to assure what this man has said in the light of God's word. In contrast to the Bible verses that I've just read, let us read Jeremiah chapter 14, verse 14. Then the Lord said unto me, The prophets prophesy lies in my name. I sent them not, neither have I commanded them, neither speak unto them. They prophesy unto you a false vision and divination, and a thing of naught, and the deceit of their heart. According to this passage, false prophets represents themselves. They speak lies, give people the assurance of peace, even when God is threatening destruction. Beware of false prophets who exalt themselves above God. Follow your Bible, not your prophet. Matthew chapter 7 verses 15 and 16 say, 
Beware of false prophets who come to you in sheep's clothing, but inwardly they are ravening wolves. 16. You shall know them by their fruits. Do men gather grapes of thorns or figs of thistles? Please, I advise you to read your Bible all the time and be watchful because Matthew chapter 24 verse 24 says, There shall arise false prophets and false teachers, and they shall perform great signs and wonders, and they shall lead many astray. Thank you for watching. Please share this video to as many people as you can and subscribe to our YouTube channel, Eagle Eye Opener. Visit our website, eagleeyeopener.com and biblicalsexualpurity.com. Follow us on our social media platform. Thank you and God bless you. Bye-bye.